things that uh, full time streamers have to think about. Like, and it's it's a very daunting thing. You guys have any tips for you know trying to maintain a work life balance? For me, it comes down to breaking things down into manageable steps. Because there's a lot of times where I'll like make myself feel bad because I didn't accomplish a task, like a work related task, or I wasn't live for as many days as I wanted to be this week or whatever. And it comes down to recognizing like each small thing that you do each day to support yourself and your mental health and your like physical well being and being like, I actually accomplished a fair bit today, or I'm asking too much of myself. Um, So one of the things that I think is something that people need to spend more time doing is acknowledging the little things that you do every single day to keep yourself running and like being like, okay, like I did all of this today. I I got myself breakfast. I didn't skip lunch. I cut up these bods after my stream. I uh, read a chapter out of this book. And also, like, in that vein, like, self-care is super important, not just thinking that your stress relief have, has to be one giant vacation in the middle of the the summer or, like, a whole week off or something. The idea that you can take little breaks from work every day or, like, once a week and not be straining yourself so much in terms of, like, I have to find this giant pocket of time to de-stress myself and the rest of the time I have to be go 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 breaking that down and being like okay so I work hard every single day how about I take an hour also every day and work on self-care and that can be different from everybody like for someone it's a bubble bath for somebody else it's taking a chapter like reading a chapter of a book that you wanted to read that you've been putting off for seven months for somebody else it's binging three episodes of an anime Um, for other people, it's like writing in a journal or, um, talking with a friend or a family member, just the idea that you set aside time. Don't let yourself skip it. Don't mark it as a luxury, but set aside time where you're like, this is time where I'm going to do something that's not working. Mm -hmm. This is time where I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that this is, Like, you know how how in RimWorld where people have tasks that are marked one, two, three, or four, (laughs) like this luxury time is not, not marked four. You don't get to just skip it if you find something more important. Like this is your, like you need to do this. And I think that that's something. Even one day off a week is like. Not, and you don't even have to take a whole day off. Like that can be such a pressure for streamers thinking that like, how am I going to find the time to take an entire day off? when like people are telling me I I need to do this for my mental health but then it's also like most people have two days off a week and if you're I mean yeah but the difference between that is is that being a streamer is being an entrepreneur and so it's really good to look at how entrepreneurs and startup cultures work on how they have the crunch and how they deal with it's okay for me to work seven days a week and work seven hours total, not just like streaming seven hours. Maybe you stream for four hours and then three hours you work on your social media Mm -hmm. and updating your website and like picking the games that you're going to do for the rest of the year and everything. If you're a full-time broadcaster and this is something that you're wanting to do, you will have to sacrifice certain uh, luxuries of having only a 40-hour work week or only and having a whole weekend off and having 14 vacation days and five sick days built into your job contract because you are your boss and your IT administrator and your PR person and if you are like if you some people it doesn't matter what size you are there are some people who are like I have a community manager and they make sure that I do certain things or I have um a team of like an agency that helps me do these sort of things too. But for the most, most people, they don't really have that luxury or they don't realize that that's something that they should try to work towards. And so like what Blue Jay said, if you make a schedule for your stream, you should also make a schedule for yourself. And that goes for people who aren't streamers at all either, or maybe they're just a moderator or just a lurker, or they're not involved in Twitch at all. It's good to schedule like, okay, 
I want to be more fit or more athletic. You can promise yourself over and over, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do it. But if you don't put it into your schedule, like literally put it in Google calendar and have it alert you 30 minutes before, like I need to drive to the gym or something, you're not going to do it. And eventually it does become a habit and a routine. And then eventually you won't need those reminders because it becomes a part of you and you start to want to do it for yourself. So that's also why it's difficult for some streamers if they're used to streaming five days a week, seven days a week or something. And then someone says, oh, just take a day off, take a weekend off. That's what, you know, normal like uh, employees do or something when they realize like, oh, you know, I, I took my Saturday morning off, but like, I feel good. I should stream or something. And then they get stuck in this idea of, well, no, I promise that I wouldn't stream on this day. Well, it's okay to like have off days of like surprise stream or something. Mm -hmm. So trying to find that balance, you can give all this advice and everything, but it really just comes down to what one person can handle. And that's why also comparing yourself to other streamers who are either part-time or full-time or they've been around forever or they just started and they have all this success and everything is very unhealthy Mm -hmm. because their journey is never going to be yours, no matter how similar you've started off together or how similar the games you pick or your schedule or where you live or how you grew up or something, because you are your own unique person. You need to find what works best for you. And that will take failure and that will take attempt after attempt. And eventually you will find an equilibrium and a balance. And some people find it faster than others. For me, Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that I could never be a full-time streamer just for the simple fact of I need to be secure in the income that I get because it is I grew up incredibly poor. So it's like being able to know that like, oh, I have an emergency fund and I have health care and all of these things is more important to me, to me than having the freedom of being my own boss as a full-time caster. And I do miss yeah. it. I did it for a few months and stuff last year, but the stress of oh my God, my savings are dwindling. Oh my God, I don't have health insurance. Oh my God, like my big donors, my big whales, they aren't really donating anymore because Christmas is coming up. Like, what am I going to do? And so I realized I needed to step back and I needed to not do this full time anymore. And that's my story and that's my journey and that's what works for me. And like, yeah, I could give that advice out to other people, but that doesn't mean that once they do that and they do it for like six months or a year, they won't be fulfilled as I am because- yeah not what they need in their life and and yeah and the financial side um sorry blue i'll I'll let you go in just a sec but i just want to say like Mm -hmm. the financial side is like a whole nother uh stress and i i know someone else that um i i spoke to at one point and they want they were looking for like an actual job because they're like i don't like this lifestyle of paycheck to paycheck it's you know you're depending on tips which is completely optional like people can watch hundreds of hours of content for free they don't have to pay a dime uh it's totally like up to the viewers generosity if they want to support you as your job that's just like a that's a a horrible feeling in a lot of ways because it's like you you don't know like what what you're gonna make month to month and then you're like i mean it just feels like to me it just feels like a weird situation where it's like oh like people are donating money and i'm like okay like thank you i can eat now like it's kind of like a weird (sighs) thing um 